Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And I wanted to do this video for a very long time and finally I got a little bit free time to do this video. This is a face-off comparison between the two major giants in the industry, Sketch and Adobe XD. Now notice here I'm not talking about the whole set of Adobe lineup, I'm just talking about their one product which is XD, which is used majorly for mobile app design, web design and prototyping and stuff. And also their major competition here which is Sketch, being loved a lot by community. So again, they are both onto a very high weightage here and we're gonna be comparing with them. Okay, now before we start and moving on comparing uh, both of them, uh, they both serve onto a very specific audience which designs the mobile app or prototype them or also the web designers. And the reason why I'm comparing them is uh, they are having a big market share and I just wanted to have it a fun comparison. Also want to make one more point here that I have been using Sketch for almost three years now, probably a little bit more, and I have been using Adobe XD from their day one, so there have been a really great improvement in Adobe XD, but still there are certain points that I would mention in this video that requires a lot of improvement. And also, both of these apps now support the prototyping as well. So you can have kind of interface where you can see whatever your design is, can have animations like fade in, fade out, just like an iPhone or an Android, and can have that. Both of them offer, offer this, the Sketch and the Adobe XD as well. But both of them actually sucks, and honestly. So we will not be comparing them. Hands down, Envision is the guy here who is the winner. So clear cut winner is Envision. Both of them offer this prototyping, both of them sucks. So let's bring up uh, our Sketch. So this is the Sketch uh, version 49.3, which is latest as of now this recording. So this is our very first welcome screen on the Sketch. We do have certain templates on which you can have and go through with them. Let's also bring up the guy which is Adobe XD, so side by side. So you can see they are pretty much similar. And one thing also I would like to mention here is that Adobe XD uses a lot of shortcuts which are common in Sketch as well. So it was pretty easy for me to move into XD from Sketch, not completely move, I'm still mostly on the Sketch, but it was pretty easy to work on in Adobe XD. And also Adobe XD supports all the files that are being designed in the Sketch. So it's pretty easier to move your existing files and just open them up and tweak out a little bit just like that. So it's pretty much easier now. Okay, so uh, we can have a template. Let's just create a new document, first of all in Sketch, and we're gonna be doing almost the same thing in Adobe XD to see how much uh, both of them are working on. So obviously this is your blank canvas area, not the canvas area, this is like a blank whiteboard-ish, and you just press A to get an artboard. You obviously know that, most of you, and you can have your any artboard. Now obviously if you press A again, uh, not here, you press A again, you can see you have a lot of sizes on the right hand side. We have paper size, a lot of Apple devices, a lot of Android devices like Pex Pixel, Galaxy S8, you can even have customized size as well. Like probably you work on YouTube a lot, you might want to design them on your own. So you have your YouTube stuff as well, you have your InVision icon stuff as well. Uh, both of them are pretty awesome in this manner. Let's go ahead and move on to Adobe XD. So where are you? There we go. So we can launch up our custom size as well. We can directly write our custom size here or we can just choose from here like iPhone. They have a lot of options for Android mobile. So artboard is not at all issue in any of them. They are pretty much the same. And obviously you can just press A key here as well and can select a wide range of artboards being available. Customization is not at all an option, like not at all a big deal. Both of them supports that, so no big deal here. Okay, now let's compare the first thing here, which is your rectangle tool. So as soon as I press R, which is, gives me a rectangle. So there we go, we have a nice rectangle mostly being used. Now Adobe XD provides you these corners, so which you can uh, just drag them, all of them at once, or you can just press your Option key and can just drag only one of them to create really cool shapes. So that's nice, I like this feature. Uh, if you want to have like all of the icons being cornered or something like that, then you can just move it like that to have a nice, you know, rounded edge rectangle. Not a big deal for Sketch as well, it also provides you can just press R and have a rectangle and you just have to then move on to this radius bar and can have like rounded radius and just like that. You can also press your U key on the sketch and can have a directly rounded rectangle. It's not much rounded, you can see it's just a three pixel rounded area, 
but it's nice to have some time. It's, I mostly don't use it. I mostly just like to have a rectangle and then like to customize it a little bit. Okay, so that's nice. Now also let me walk you through that I do have a custom bar here which is coming up from this guy, uh, the craft tools. And this makes a lot of things for which Adobe XD is popular. These are the craft tools available totally for free, kind of a plugin for Sketch, and they do a lot of things. Now, you might have seen the stuff where uh, somebody is just having a lot of photos in the folder, just drag and drop, and these photos automatically fills up in these square areas. That's exactly what craft can do in the Sketch. Okay, now let me walk you through one of the very uh, powerful features which I like in the Sketch as well as in Adobe XD. They both are there in the same, but serves like a little bit different. So let's have an artboard, first of all, in this guy. And here are quick, nice tricks. So press R, so we're gonna have a rectangle. So there we go, let's have a rectangle like this, I think this. I can double click and can convert that into vectored images. And I would like to have a little bit like longer vector at the bottom, like broadened. And uh, I think at the top, it's like little bit-ish like that. So it's okay, hit enter. So I do have now custom shape here. I can just select this and I can use rotate copies in case you are is not there, right click and click on customize toolbar. They have pretty good options here. So what you can do is you can select this, I can click on rotate copies and can have, have like 13 copies of it, click okay. And there we go, my cogler wheel or my setting icon is completely ready. I can just even customize that a little bit, however I like. So this is one of the feature which I absolutely love. There are a lot of such neat tricks that Sketch do. And one thing which I really like about the Sketch is, uh, let's just say I want to have a rectangle here. And uh, let's just say its size is 67. Uh, but you know, I wanted it to be 30. But then I realized that no, I want it to be like uh, 3.5 times of 30. So I can just simply say 30 multiplied by 3.5 and it's gonna do the math automatically. I don't have to worry much about it. This is one of the beautiful feature about the sketch. But it's not like that, that Adobe XD doesn't have this feature. Not exactly this feature, but something like, a little bit like that. Okay, so what we can do is, let's just say we have the shape, and we're gonna fill that up to something like a dark maroonish, or this flattish color, okay. And now we are gonna have a circle, and, oops, delete that, and I needed, okay, so come on. Okay, so let's just have another rectangle here. We can, we do have another options like ovals. Let's just have an oval here. Uh, you can always press your shift key to have a perfect oval. So let's just say this is my shape, and I'm gonna just color, fill them up with the colors, all of them. And by the way, we do have shortcuts for all of them. These are like V for select, following up from the illustrator and all these and all of that. So let's just select uh, this guy and we're gonna fill it with a little bit bluish uh, like that. Okay, and we're gonna have this guy a little bit smaller. I know it's a random shape, but you'll get to me in a second. Just wait with me, bear with me. So there we go. And for all of them, we're gonna remove the border because I don't like that and for that as well, border. Okay, so now these are all things. So what you can do is you can select all of them and you can just click on the repeat grid. Now this repeat grid is really powerful and can create like immense amount of shapes or if you have like the bars of the chat icons, you can just always repeat that. Same can be done in a sketch as well, but this is like something really amazingly powerful. So you can just drag and drop and can repeat these shapes like really quickly. When the first time I saw that it was like something magical and you can see, yeah, the possibilities are really endless with that. You can create like immense amount of shapes with that. Let me give you a quick idea of that. And also the best part about this is like you can have something like twice of that and then you can just uh, reduce down the areas here and that's gonna help all of them. So you can have like crazy shapes. You can just have something like this which is absolutely insane. So this is one of the most powerful feature in the Adobe XD that I think has a lot of hackable feature. You can just customize it however you like. So this is what I loved about it. Okay, now coming up onto very important part, which is this pen tool. So they call that as a pen tool and you can design customized shapes with it. So let's just say you have a shape, you can have it, something like that. 
Okay, so notice here on the right hand side, I don't have much of the options here. Obviously, you can press down your option key or to have these things. Uh, you can just get a shape back, something like this. Okay, so have a random shape. Now, I think uh, just to let you know, this tool was totally redesigned in Adobe XD. I don't say it's not powerful. It is powerful. It has a lot of options like these things uh, can have inside stroke, outside stroke and stuff like that. It's much more it will make much more sense here. So you can have it like shapes and all of that. I like this, but you know, this is one feature which I like better in Sketch. So let's move on to Sketch and let me show you what I was talking about. So if I just press V for a vector tool here and I just start pressing something like this. Now notice my uh, bar is now getting all curvy, all of that. Now what I can do is I can press my command key and notice it gets straightened out. These are the small things which sometimes get really, really handy. If it is available in the Adobe XD, I would really like to know that, post down in the comment section. But you know, these things, options like straightened, disconnected, symmetric, these are something which is really one of my favorite tools in the sketch and I love that part. Okay, apart from this, there is one thing which I think there is a room for improvement in Adobe XD. So just select this image, let's just say we select that. And what you can do is you can have a shadow on it. So that's nice, not one of the best, but it's decent. But you can also have like inner shadows, which is less visible, but sometimes they can do remarkable jobs. And you have absolutely no idea how powerful they can become because it doesn't consume anything outside the area and you can still have a, amazing looks in that. Now this feature is not so really handy in Adobe XD. I think it's gonna come up very soon. So you can have it. Yes, you can have shadows, but having an inner shadow is really a tricky part as of now. You have to use variety of hacks to do so. I would love to see this inside shadow thing in the Adobe XD for having it. Okay, one more thing which impressed a lot in Adobe XD, I loved about it, is this text tool. So let's just say we have, okay, first of all, let's get a new artboard. So have a text tool and you can just write a text and it's really, really small right now. So I'll just have it something like uh, sample text, hit enter or just like that. So we have it and uh, there we go. So now what I loved about it is they have an option of directly just scaling it right now. I absolutely love this part and also the texts are actually of two ways or of two types. Oops, come on, don't do that of two types in here and I absolutely love the two types here. The first one you can see is this guy which is point text which you can increase that and another one is like your paragraph text. I don't know what they call it, never hovered it. Area text or paragraph text means the same in which you can actually scale that and now you can fill more areas onto that. It's pretty amazing so I love that part. But one thing that I'm missing is I can just right click onto it and you know, there is no option here which I'm about to show you in the sketch. Uh, but I would love to see this feature in the sketch as well. Like just point and drag and it just scales up. It's, it's awesome. I love that. Okay, so one thing uh, that I would like to show here is in the sketch. So let's have an, another artboard. You can have as many artboard. And let's just have a text and this is gonna be like sample and uh, let's just have a sample text. Okay, so obviously you can just uh, click on the size and can increase that, so it's kind of a alternative for that, but I love the other way one, it's really cool. So what you can do here is you can right click on this and notice there is an option here which says uh, convert to outlines. This is really powerful. Once you convert that as an outline, uh, what you can do is now you can select any individual word and can play it as a vector. So let's just say you have a text and just an instant you can convert that into a, a simple kind of a customized font or maybe logos or something like that. So let's just say I select this and I want it to be something like going like this. And there we go. Your customization is all done just within a few clicks. And you can save that as a simple as a symbol and can you reuse that. Obviously, the symbol feature comes in Adobe XD as well. So uh, you can have something like in this guy and probably can have something like this. I know this one doesn't really look cool. Uh, I just liked it in just P. There we go. So pretty easy. I like this fun part. 
And again, on top of that, you can have some of the shadows onto it if you want to have it, or you can have the long shadows. There's also an option of Gaussian blur, which I use quite a lot in the images to give that blurry feel on top of that login screen. I love that. Yes, it can be done in Adobe XD as well, but there are things you have to worry about. Okay, so this was my quick comparison. Again, both of them offer this prototyping feature where you can have the prototypes and can see that, you can run that. Uh, but both of them actually sucks and InVision does a better job in having that. Now also, if we have the sample, you know, they have this duplicates on the grid, vertical and all of that. So if you want to have it vertical, uh, probably like four, you can duplicate that and you got it directly just like that. So these things can be done using the craft. So come on, you can go back. And we do have other options with the craft as well. It's really powerful plugin, but I just wanted to talk about the core features available in the sketch and XD. I didn't want it to go into like, and obviously we have features like the just you want to fill this. So you can just click on this and just fill it with something or you can get something images or something like that. And it's gonna fill that up. So it's available. You can also have get images, search for images and can have replaced it. So pretty easy stuff available in both Adobe XD and in this one as well. So I think that's pretty much enough. Uh, I really enjoyed making this video between a side-by-side -side comparison between Sketch and Adobe XD. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And by the way, I love both the software. I am looking forward to work in both of them. So that's my comparison. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.